What the f- what what the hell did I just watch? Are you serious? Cobb is a Super Saiyan? But he just said that he never seen a transformation before. Yo, this is that bullshit. Because here's my gripe with this bullshit. Because in the beginning, you feel me? Super was the shit. Like, Super was fucking pepper steak, green peppers, like mashed potatoes on the side. Feel me? Now this shit is like fucking it's pussy juice in the morning. So nobody don't want that. Nobody don't want no pussy juice in the morning. If you a nigga and you eat pussy juice in the morning, you're a cuckold, bro. Real talk. If you eat pussy in the morning, you're a cuckold. But anyway, my nigga, what the fuck did I just watch, though? My nigga, like... This nigga fucking, you got Magetta, the robot, the metal man farting and igniting his farts to create like projectiles and explosions. Is this is what the fuck it came down to? Like, who was the who was the voice on that one? I was like, yo, you know, it'd be dope if Magetta farted on Vegeta. Are you fucking serious? Nah, man, I call a do over my nigga. Like, this shit wasn't, it wasn't the worst episode, but it damn sure wasn't the best. Like, the whole fight was long distance throughout the whole episode. All they was doing was just shooting key blasters at each other. Well, and farts and shit, man. No pun intended. But what is this? Like, seriously. I think if you even notice, like, this nigga Frost, I don't know if the Frost is dead or what, but this nigga ain't move at all. My nigga, yo, there was a point in time in the episode where Vegeta shatters the barrier. There's glass shards flying everywhere. Goku's dodging shards. Champa's dodging shards. I don't know what the hell kind of witchcraft Kaba is using, but he clearly didn't need to dodge. All he had to use was his Saiyan armor, and he protected Vados. That's another thing for later. But he catches it, you know, like on his fucking jujitsu shit. This nigga Frost is in fucking La La Land or some shit. This nigga's sleeping like... My nigga, you almost died. Nigga's almost off your shit. Are you sleeping? Yo, niggas better wake that nigga up, bro. Shit is getting real in the field, my nigga. The, the clash of the fucking Super Saiyan Titans is about to go down next fight. I'm really so just... I want that fight to be over so fast, Vegeta and Kaba. I, it, I don't know who's going to win... I don't care no more because it's like, yo, the, the story isn't even consistent with the manga anymore. I don't know if you guys saw the manga or read the chapter, but the way how Frost is being perceived in the manga is totally different from the anime. Totally different. And, you know, that's another thing that's like really like has me like feeling some sort of way for this shit because I was really like on the super bandwagon like I seen the first two movies I'm like alright cool Battle of God's popping Freeze is popping ooh super's cool and then this tournament shit came about and then the whole shit just went you know what fuck it like I felt like Toei was like you know what fuck it they not paying us enough like is there a pay cut in Japan or some shit like what the hell is going on Yo, man, yo, man, Toriyama got to start doing better, man. It's looking like you don't even care about your shit no more, man. Because I'm not feeling it, man. Like, it's one thing I, Vegeta's like the whole, like, I I, I don't know if you want to call him a good, yeah, Vegeta's a fucking good guy now. And that shit hurts. That shit sucks. Like, I like thugged out Vegeta. I like, feel me? Tupac Vegeta. I don't like fucking Drake Vegeta. Come on, man. I'm like. Yo, man, niggas got to do better, man. Overall, the episode was decent. We got to see that it might appear as if Vegeta has a better family than Goku, only being that Bulma is really, like, full of entertainment and shit. Like, she actually talks shit while Vegeta's fighting. Trunks is the same way, too. I'm kind of curious to see how this Trunks is going to grow up. Feel me? Like, this Trunks, this version of Trunks, this... The, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, yeah, this version of Trunks. I'm curious to see how he'll grow up. You know, we've seen how future Trunks is, but this Trunks, we have yet to see his future. And he seems like he's going to be one of those playboy kids to get all the girls, but strong as hell. Like like Ken from Street Fighter or some shit. Or Andy Bogart or something from Fatal Fury, you know? Like, I feel that's going on with Trunks. Because Chi-Chi and Goten, I mean, don't get me wrong. Chi-Chi is the fucking trap queen of, of the fucking century for fucking flying down to Goku. I never knew the bitch had flight, bro. 
The bitch flew down to Goku after Frost poisoned him, and she was ready to fuck Frost up. I'm like, that's good, but Bulma talks so much shit. Not to mention, Bulma smacked the shit out of Beerus before. Chi Chi doesn't have that feat. I'm like, yo, these niggas, like, they picked the right bitches. I remember somebody, I think Vegeta was saying that it takes a certain woman to, like, deal with a saying, but I see what the fuck he's saying now. <laughs> see what I did there saying? See what she was saying? Yeah. Anyway, back to this fucking bum-ass episode. So, you know, Whis is in the cut. He's telling, like, yo, Vegeta, if you had just called the damn robot, or the, the metal man, Magetta, a, a piece of junk from the start, he would have never fought. You know, those people, well, the metal men from that planet, once you call them, um, a, a, well, let me clean that up. They're mentally weak. Them being a robot, they're mentally weak. So if you disrespect them or you said something that would hurt their feelings, they don't want to fight no more. Vegeta called them a big ass piece of junk. The nigga looked like he was about to cry, my nigga. Tears and all that, my nigga. He's a fucking robot. Where is the tears coming from, nigga? Anyway. So them two niggas fucking, they politic, they build on it. So Goku's like, yo, aside from that, Vegeta, if you went all out from the beginning, nigga would have got knocked out. Vegeta doesn't say nothing. You know, Vegeta says his little snarl shit. Then he looks over the hit. Vegeta, Goku's like, oh, I was thinking the same shit. So who the fuck is hit? Hit is clearly like that nigga. All we know about hit is that hit is the legendary hitman, right? And call it what you niggas want to call it, but hit is Mewtwo for me, for me. I don't know what you want to refer to him as, but Hit is Mewtwo for me. The nigga has all this psychic shit, like... Look at his fucking, like, his character design. This nigga's head looks like his brain. Like, he looks like all that shit is one, son. Like, there's no hairline. There's just a split. Feel me? Like, huh. I don't know what's up with dude. I did see how he attacked Frost in the last episode, and you don't see none of those wounds. And going back to Frost, Frost looked like I don't know, nigga, like, like if he drank too much, a nigga just told him, like, yo, son, I don't think you're going to make it. Like, this nigga looked like he got bad news, and this nigga out. Like, this nigga slipped a fucking a molly in his drink or some shit. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I really don't know. But, you know, hopefully shit will get better. Hopefully. I hope there's some shit that's going on between Vados and Kaba. I hope she trains somebody. You know... The more I talk, the more I think about this shit, my nigga. I think the thing about Heat that has Goku and Vegeta like on some curious shit, they probably can't sense no key from him. And if you can't sense no key from somebody, what is that? Your God mode, no? Either you're fucking weak as shit or that's God mode. No? My nigga, pay attention to this shit, my nigga. I don't know, man. Shit is looking real meek. Shit is looking real meek right now, my nigga. They got to change this shit. Next episode, that shit got to be dumb ill, my nigga. I'm really not feeling the fact that Kaba is a Super Saiyan, though. Like, this nigga grew eyebrows. Like, he's the total opposite of Super Saiyan 3. Like, in his regular state, this nigga has no eyebrows. In his eyes, he makes he looks like a little fish. But now, when he turns Super Saiyan, it's like, oh, this nigga turned into that nigga. Like, I don't know, man. That shit is, shit is confusing the shit out of me, my nigga. Word the mother, son. I really tried to enjoy this fucking episode today, man, but... Man, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here like boyhoods, man.